Today, I'm talking to Dr. Tony Williams, who's a consultant occupational physician. Tony, one of the problems we face in general practice is helping our patients decide when they go back to work. Uh, we've developed an evidence-based tool that gives their vulnerability as a measure of age, which is very easy for them to understand. The big problem initially was confusion about risk, and patients don't understand risk very well at all. So we found it was much easier to relate risk to their age by adding age factors for each vulnerability. So um, we can take, for example, an Asian woman. Um, she will lose eight years because she's a woman. There's double the risk for men. She will gain four years for being Asian. If she's got well-controlled diabetes, that'll add another four years. So you can build up and give them a vulnerability score that relates their vulnerability age to the age of a healthy white male. So for example, if you're age 50, your COVID age is 64, you've got the same vulnerability as a white male age 64. Most people get that, they understand that very clearly. How will GPs use this in the consultation? It's very easy to use. You have a table with the age factors for each condition. You can sit with the patient and they can do the sums with you. So they'll add the factors together to work out their own COVID age. They can then also see the impact, for example, of obesity and poorly controlled diabetes on their vulnerability. Where will GPs go to learn a little bit more about this? Uh, it's all on our website. Um, I'm the chairman of the Association of Local Authority Medical Advisors, and we have published it open access for anyone who wants to use it. So you just log on to the Alamo website, you're straight into the table and guidelines as to how we created it and how to use it. So tell me a little bit about your experience of using this or your other local authority and medical officers. How, how have they found using this in practice? They've all found it incredibly helpful because it's so simple uh, and it gives them confidence that they're actually applying evidence to multiple factors uh, and the patients understand it. It's like that light bulb moment. For example, a young footballer, age 20, he's black, he's been told he's double the risk because of his colour, his ethnicity. He's really worried. But you say to him, like, actually, your added risk factor is six years. So you've got a COVID age of 26. Look at your mates around you. There's several guys who are older than 26. You're less vulnerable than them. He understands it. Tell me a little bit about further development. How are you going to develop this tool in the future? We're building it from very large databases and we're constantly extracting data from those uh, as the, the data becomes available. So we're aiming to refresh the data every couple of weeks and add granularity. We're cross-referencing a number of very large databases so we can actually help confirm that we've got um, uh, good results that uh, are reliable. And do you think this type of scoring has potential for the future outside COVID? Um, we don't know whether vulnerability to COVID um, is reflected in vulnerability to other diseases. It's possible that it reflects a general vulnerability. That might be of value. Today, I've been talking to Dr. Tony Williams, consultant occupational physician, who shared his work on helping patients get back to work. Thank you very much, Tony.